In this video, I'm going to be walking you through exactly what goes through my mind in a live weekend leave weekend league gameplay of Madden Ultimate Team. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better at Madden 21. Every single day, we upload videos that can help you uh, take your offense and your defense to the to the next level. So if you want to get access to all of that content, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe. Now in this video, I am specifically going to be running my nickel uh, 335 wide defensive guide uh, on defense and on offense. I'm actually going to be in the trips tight end. If you want to get the exact offense and defense that I am using, uh, I'm going to leave a link to both of them in the description below. But um, this is a this is a weekend league gameplay here, so try my best to win this. Now, really quickly before we dive too far in, you notice that I kicked the ball up at the start. That's a good sign. Uh, you always want to kick, if possible. You always, always, always uh, want to try to kick the ball. That's super, super important uh, and super, super uh, essential. Now, right here, um, you're going to notice that I am running, like I said, the nickel 335 wide. I'm going to be using Sean Taylor. I'm running a 25 out of 50 Washington football team and 25 out of 50 um, 49ers uh, on, on my scheme here. And it looks like my opponent is going to be using uh, Michael Vick. Anytime that someone comes out and under center, you're going to see that I am typically going to try to user rush them uh, as much as I possibly can. And the reason why I do that is to try to deter them from going under center. If they can pick up the user rush and they can deal with some of that stuff, then I will shift into other style of defenses. But that's kind of how I like to start. Now, uh, like I said, on defense, I'm going to be running my nickel 335 wide defensive guide. We're going to primarily be running a lot of max coverage in this game, um, or uh, match coverage, I apologize. That's kind of how I like to start. I have kind of a base um, a base match and a base uh, zone drop defense. There you go again. If he's going to continue to run play action, we will literally use a rush him out of the gym. And uh, it's just kind of the way that I find uh, is most effective to deal with stuff like this. Uh, but anyways, here my opponent is going to be shifting. Um, it looks like here he's going to be shifting to uh, pistol bunch tight end. So we got to be a little bit careful here. We're going to do this shift. This is third and 25, but you got to think, you know, Michael Vick uh, can roll out, you know, do some stuff like that. Uh, it's actually going to run a screen, uh, which actually almost worked for him there. So I guess good call by my opponent. But we're starting out really, really nicely. This is exactly where we want to be. Um, right now we we got our stop this is why i love absolutely love to kick the ball off um because if you get a stop um because you're coming right into a game if you can get a stop you get ball at half which is so so important um and so you know that's why i really do like uh, to do that now on offense like i said i'm running the trips tight end offense if you want to get the entire scheme uh you can get that down in the description of this video i believe that the trips tight offense is one of if not the best uh offensive schemes in the entire game and i've actually been having a lot of fun running it uh these last couple of days just been kind of testing some different things different route combinations watching some film on some really good pro players that are running this and uh, just kind of been having some fun with it. I think it's a really simple um, offense, but really one of the keys with it is to be, um, I think one of the most important things when running this offense is you have to be disciplined and you have to be patient. Those are two super, super important things. So take your underneath routes. Um, if you take your underneath routes, it is almost impossible for the defense to be able to stop you. But if you try to force one play touchdowns every play, you're going to you're going to find that there's actually a lot that they can do to stop you. So, anyways, here this is one of my favorite little plays at a curl flat. Um, just kind of a simple play, uh, really just to get started. Just kind of a simple little thing here. Now he doesn't have lurker on that Shazier. You can tell because he doesn't have a little ability underneath him. Um, so I kind of felt like that was the right call uh, in that situation. Now he's running, so I think he's in the dime rush package. Uh, I think, but we'll see. We'll see as the game goes on. But if he is in the dime, like I think he is, then we can attempt to do some running uh, against this. Just kind of try to see how he how he handles the run game. Um, he's also really wide and splits really nobody in the middle of the field. So we can kind of quickly audible to this uh, run. Uh, talked a little bit about this in another video that I did. 
but this little uh, gun tray flex formation is pretty decent um, specifically for um, you know just different types of situations that are going to come up if you're running the trips tight end really like the read option they've got out of it um, you're going to notice that depending again depending on what he's doing with his adjustments pre-snap and kind of where people are um, you know if he's matching if he's if he's man aligning if he's not a man aligning if he's base aligning all of those things are factors but if we want to attack the middle run game uh, we can go to this little read option right here you're going to see it's going to get a little bit of a, an adjustment um, but just going to be it's a really quick little uh, little deal uh, but we're able just to run the ball right there now really quickly here um, I'm in third down and one this is uh, a little bit of a tactic that I like to use uh, just just kind of based off of uh, things that I've seen um, and just kind of how I how I like to play so I like to go ahead and just put uh, a couple tight ends out here we're gonna put Reggie Bush back here and then I'm gonna put Derrick Henry out here and the reason I like to do it this way uh, as opposed to some other ways is because I find this to actually be a little bit more effective because they have to kind of honor the fact that you can throw this ball they have to kind of honor that that was a bad call by me right there but they have to kind of honor that I should have audible but here I'm gonna go no huddle and just go right into the fullback dive um, you see this little quick audible right here and I'm actually gonna flip this play and just kind of go straight ahead with Derrick Henry and that's what I'm kind of talking about because they have to kind of respect that you can pass obviously they don't have to you know respect it as much as if you're in a trips tight end traditional set but they do have to respect a little bit that you can use things like hitches and slants and drags and corner routes and those are all things that still you know matter um, and so because of that you know I can kind of audible around a little bit um, you know kind of catch my opponent in some unique positions now right here I didn't call a great place so we're actually gonna shift into the bunch tight end a couple different reasons why you would go to bunch tight end uh, one of those is for this look that he's given us right here you notice that he's kind of in a interesting little shift here we're actually gonna try to kind of like basically do that and it wasn't there I should just ran off left tackle so that was a bad read by me. That's going to bring up a second down to 14. Now, again, right here, I talked about this a little bit, but this is a situation where we're not necessarily like desperate to score a touchdown, right? We want to score a touchdown, but we're going to be okay if we don't. And um, so we're going to go to a little bit more, you know, kind of, of a, a simplified um, right there. Just not a great, not a great result right there. Not, not anything near what we were trying to do, but we were able to get a, a, an easy catch. So that's going to bring up a third and eight. Now, if you notice here on this outside, he's running a lot of cover too. This is where I really like this play X spot um, for a lot of different reasons. But if he's in cover two this time, uh, we should have the routes on the field to be able to take care of this. We we'll just kind of have to see what he's doing defensively. But I'm looking left here. Got the outside release like I wanted. Nice little possession catch on the outside. Perfect read. And we've got ourselves a nice little first down. And so you're going to see, now I'm going to go back to this Trey White flex. Now I am going to make a little bit of an adjustment. I'm actually going to take my tight end um, and I'm going to turn him into uh, George Kittle there. And then uh, on this back side, let me see if I can get Derrick Henry down there. And then we're going to go Chris Cooley on the right. Uh, and this is just to kind of mix it up a little bit. It mixes up some of the plays that you can call. Um, but we're going to go with the read option right here. And there you see, he just kind of comes right off the edge. Uh, so good defense by him. He actually stopped us pretty well there. We've got a couple. We've got kind of a plethora of different types of runs that we can go to down here in the goal line. Uh, we are using the Raiders book. Normally, if I was running trips tight end, I'd be using the um, uh, the New England Patriots offense, which is a little bit less. It has some better, in my opinion, it has better runs uh, for the trips tight end, um, like the quick base and things like that, and the RPO alert bubble, which is really really good but it doesn't have like all of the other things. It doesn't have like I close or I slot or whatever. It doesn't have X spot, which is one of the better passes. Um, and so anyway, the only reason I'm saying that is just because um, I've got a couple of different options that I can go to here. So like right here, we're gonna try to just pop this inside zone and just see if we can get it. Um, you see they're a little bit different blocking on the inside zone than once you get on the read option. We're able to get a touchdown, which is really important. It's actually huge that we got that touchdown right there. Again, we were talking about how it wasn't like a huge deal to us if we got a touchdown or if we got a field goal, but it's a huge deal in the big picture of this game that we're able to go down get a touchdown because now 
um, again, whenever you're playing like a tournament or you're playing weekend league or you're playing serious, you really want to think about possessions and clock management and all of those things. That's why it's so important to kick the ball off um, as opposed to re receive the ball because it just puts you in a better clock management position, right? So now he's got two minutes, 27 seconds. He's got plenty of time here uh, to be able to drive, but you know, we're going to continue to stay with what got us here. We're going to use this cover three defense. Um, Right there, we didn't do a great job. He's gonna to try to lob it up over the top. I got Sean Springs, uh, and that's where I talked about that 25 out of 25 Washington. We're able to get the interception, which is huge. And so now we're in a really good spot because we get the turnover and we, do, we also get ball at halftime. So right here, um, I've got 20 seconds. So I've kind of got like an automatic clock stoppage. So I'm just gonna to try to see you know how he handles this inside zone. He's really not got really an answer for it um, I guess he's got inside stuff on this one guy here but I could easily just double team him uh, and that typically does handle that pretty well uh, we're just trying to get this off here and again just a simple inside zone I probably missed a cut but <coughs> just trying to get the just trying to take what the defense gives us a little bit okay so now in this situation right here we're gonna go back to that kind of almost PA boot over is kind of set up here um, you know, we're just trying to really flood this left side. And there's different ways in which you could do this, but this is the way we're gonna go in this right here. Um, just kind of take our drag. And unfortunately, we got a bad rack catch animation, but that's okay, we're able to get out of bounds. And we're gonna come back in that play. I actually really liked how that looked, but we're gonna go to, we're actually gonna go to X spot, but we're gonna go with a little bit of a different style. Kind of a little bit more of a zone beater and right here we just need a really good swerve and we're able to get that dot nice catch and now we're able to go down into that you know that tray tray flex uh kind of look just to kind of see uh we're going to try to take as much clock as we can here um we don't have to score a touchdown either um this is where we really want to try to close out this half because if we can get the ball we get the ball to start the half, right? And so that's why it's a, a, a big deal. So like right here, you're gonna see, I'm not even necessarily trying to score a touchdown. Um, I'm 100% okay if we don't score. Um, this is gonna be probably three inside zones and a field goal, more than likely. Um, I'm actually, you know, I might, I might audible down to the goal line on this next play, just to see how his goal line rendy is, but you know, we're just, you see here, we're just trying to take every second we possibly can. Do a little stop and go, get a couple yards. So now we've got about 40 seconds. And again, we're in a decent spot because he has to respect the run. He's only got one timeout. He's going to want to save that so that he can, you know, maybe try to call it and get a field goal. We're going to continue to take as much time as we possibly can uh, right here. We're going to go to the power O run. Uh, and just try if we get it if we don't get a touchdown it's okay and look at that we almost did and that's honestly probably a best case scenario because now we just take the time down you see here we got plenty of timeouts so here i'm just gonna you know kind of jam the timeout button just make sure it gets hit and now what's going to happen is and this is very intentional right we're not trying to force a touchdown that's why it's so important if you're going to run the trips tight end offense i think it's super important if you're going to run any offense but definitely if you're going to run the trips tight end offense you have to be patient offensively. You have to be patient. You can't try to force things. You're not gonna be able to force a square peg in a round hole and vice versa, right? So right there, we go down, we get our touchdown or our, our field goal, I apologize, that's a possession. So now we wait, this is really important, patience. I'm waiting, you look at the bottom left until that little clock thing goes up. If it doesn't say onside kick, then you can hit return middle. Just a little tactic that I've learned the, the hard way over the years. But now we get the ball and we can take a lot of clock on this next drive. And so this is where you're going to see, um, like right here, I'm going to return it, but I'm just going to go down. I'm not going to risk a fumble, right? I'm just going to go down. I like being in this position because now I've got a lot of, a lot of room, a lot of space that I can use. The important thing to note about this um, really quickly here is, you know, this is a simple little way that you can really, I think, just put the defense in kind of a hard position because um, now this is where trips tight in. This is where we want to be very west coast, west coast ish, right? We want to, you know, kind of really take what the defense gives us. Uh, and of course, we throw a pick on the very first play, which is 
a little bit ridiculous how that happened. Sam Mills somehow blink. Just very frustrated with that pick right there. It was a bad read, but I just I don't I don't know. I don't agree with that interception. Now this completely changes everything that I just said. Um, but we're gonna try to just kind of stay disciplined. He's kind of sticking with his guns as well. Um, right here goes to the seam. That's got to be an interception. We played good defense. This is why I really like this cover three uh, style of defense. Now, depending on again, you know, he's kind of running a weird, uh, a weird offense in a sense because he's like single back, but he's almost like a single back bunch almost with the the way it's practically playing out. So I've got to be kind of careful. Um, we're gonna try to get a hit on Michael Vick. I don't know how. They give him that interception, but they don't give me a fumble right there. Oh, this completely changed the game. This was a that was a huge turnover. That was a huge turnover, huge mistake by me. Oh man, that was a huge turnover. I cannot stress enough how big that turnover was. Um, but we have to adjust. So coming down here, we're going to little uh, good old big nickel over G, trying to get a shoot, trying to get a gap shoot here. And we're able to get it. That's huge. So now if we can, I mean, it's not going to really, I mean, it does matter, but it's it's not the end of the, you know, either way, we've kind of put ourselves in a bad position. Um, but anyway, you were just trying to kind of, yep, take that away. Kind of have to force him to work a little bit. So now seven yard line, if I'm him, I'm, I'm running the ball and taking three. Um, you know, mission accomplished on this drive, in my opinion, but it does look like he's going to go eye close here. Uh, I love this defense against eye close. I think it's a pretty decent way to play eye close. Um, oh my gosh, man. And that's that's on me. I should have. I saw him scrambling up in the pocket. I thought I could turn around fast enough. I couldn't. And um, you know, good job by him. I should have clicked off and let the computer just blow him up but two scrambles with Michael Vick and he's in so that's just tough that's tough that's tough 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 and now what we've got to do is we've got to put the last two minutes aside and we've got to lock in and go down and have a championship drive you know it's really like I said I've talked about this a lot when you're running trips tight in especially if you're on spread if you're on trips tight, any of those kind of things it's really really important that you are patient and you're composed, right? Those are very, very important um, just because of the way the game plays. Because fluke happens, you know, things happen outside of our control. Now, again, we made a little bit of a bad read there, you know, but the same at the end of the day, you know, just good, it is what it is. So right there, able to hit a, hit a, hit a dot coming out, and that's big for the psyche of the team. Um, you see that he's going to blitz a lot. And we're actually going to go to one of my, this is probably, uh, again, this is just a really simple way to deal with pressure. Uh, I actually really like it a lot. Um, if they're going to blitz you, it's really hard to stop this play right here. And there you see, there's that crosser over the middle, absolute laser, and it puts us right down where we want to be. And, um, and now we're going to be able to have an opportunity to have a red zone trip. So again, I'm going tray open or tray flex inside zone. And just based off the way that he's got his defense set up, we're just going to trust the inside zone here. And there you go. Touchdown. That's a huge drive. Huge drive. Um, when they start, when, this is why it's so important to be patient. He's going to probably go ahead and quit out here. When they start to overcommit to different things like that, if you are patient in the trips tight end and you are able to pick stuff up like that, it is going to leave so much open because of how powerful the spacing is. So if you want to get the exact offense and defense I ran in this video, they are in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys.